Hi everybody, Happy New Year to you. Um, just like to show you um, progress with the T1000 design uh, fluxgate uh, motor. Right, we've got 16 samarium cobalt flat magnets, quite powerful, not quite as powerful as neodymium, but uh, they measure 25 by 12 by 3 and they're set out geometrically uh, on a piece of plexiglass. Uh, the motor is an X um, oh, batch uh, cassette recorder, um, quite a powerful little thing uh, and that's what we've set up for uh, driving the rotor. Now the rotor plate um, we've got 16 magnets as I said north south, north south, so on, all the way around we have nine soft iron rotor segments they're cut uh, to the angle of basically one and a half magnet um, on the stator plate anyway I'll just fit this up so we can demonstrate to do all this as we go because um, I don't like editing videos as you know uh, look at it, three. Uh, all these screws that have been used and all the fixtures are non-magnetic uh, or anti-magnetic we've got brass and we've got 316 stainless which is pretty uh... so there we are rotor plate is secure as you can see there's a touch of cogging but um, we are able by virtue of the plate under there to adjust the height of this and these are things that uh, will be done in time as uh, we fine tune this uh, but I just wanted to show everybody that we weren't uh, getting fat off Christmas <laughs> We have been busy. Right, that's the... Uh, okay, right. The coil plate. I should have shown you this before we uh, popped it on. We've got eight coils. Uh, soft iron centres. Which are also exactly the gap. I just lost one of my... No, it doesn't matter. Um... Lost uh, one of my uh, transformer laminations. We've done this on the top to try and improve the uh, magnetic uh, coupling through the coils. Right, we're all set. Let's run her up. Run off the power supply. As you can see, it's settling out now at about uh, just fractionally over an amp. Um, I did check the power supply earlier on actually with this 0.1 of an ohm resistor, and the current and voltage are spot on uh, by calculation. Anyway, um, here's the waveform from one coil. across a 0.1 of an ohm resistor. Uh, we're on 2 volts per centimetre so looking at that we're about 3.8 volts on load. Now if I remove the load resistor oh, we're off scale. There we are. We're on 5 volts per centimetre now. About 28 volts peak to peak, and there's that turn um, which we've all become familiar with at the bottom of this scope. But what my son found earlier on, which was quite interesting, if we pick the opposite number coil, 
which is this one, and we put it in phase. How about that? We straighten the waveform out. And obviously in antiphase, there you go, we get half and the ghost. It's its opposite number on the other side of the, uh, the, uh, the coil plate. Right, well what we'd like to show you now is that uh, all these coils are open circuit. And... We've got 12 volts, 1.02. So we'll start shorting the coils out one, one by one. See the current's dropping slowly as we do this. Now. A bit of vibration issues. This is uh, we're still using the rotor that T1000 mentioned that we'd managed to warp by getting there. I don't know how we'd managed that, but uh, it was beautifully engineered to start with. But it's now got a hell of a hell of a wobble. Out. Right, that's the last of the coil shorted. As you can see, we've come down by about 0.05 of, of an amp. I'm not sure whether the frequency is the speed's altered. I'll just open one up, put it across the resistor. Speeds right, remain relatively the same. So, uh, so there we have it. Um, going to make coils, a better coils, because these are X uh, 12 volt solenoid coils. That's where we got the soft iron from for making the uh, rotor segments, um, and these obviously that you can see sticking up are the um, uh, the actual plungers from the solenoids, they're also soft iron. Um, it let, let, but I think what we're really looking for is more of a, a flat pancake coil with a heavier winding so we can try and push a bit more current. Um, but there we are. Uh, that's where we're at so far. Thank you very much for watching.